Okay, we're going to do the um, tutorial 8-2 on page 292. And before we begin, I've been having all kinds of problems trying to get this to work. And actually, I'm not sure it's going to work now, but I think I may have found something. Uh, here's the original DVD that has the data on it. And I'm going to open it up, and I'm going to go to my exercises and chapter 8. And there's this chapter 8 GDB folder, and I'm going to open that up and look at this there's a file here with the lock suffix on the end and uh, usually something like that indicates that it uh, is locking some of the data it's indicating to windows that some of the data here is locked or maybe it's indicating to uh, uh, arcmap that some of the data is locked or read only uh, this is on the dvd so i can't delete it but uh, when you copy this over to your hard drive this file is going to be there and I think what you have to do before you can get anything to work in Chapter 8 is you have to delete this file. Um, so copy it over, right click on it, and um, you'll have to choose uh, delete. Well, let's, let's just copy this whole Chapter 8 um, GDB folder. Come on. And I think my video capture software is probably slowing everything down and that's why I'm getting the not responding thing here and so I'm going to copy this and then I'm going to go to uh, my C drive and I'm going to go to S repress GIST1 my exercises chapter 8 and I'm going to delete the one that's there and we're just going to paste this on top and when it copies the files over, then we're going to go in here and we're going to click on this and right click on it and we're going to delete that file. Okay, now I'm going to close that. Now I'm back in uh, ArcMap and I'm going to open up my map from the... Um, Maps folder 8 2, open that up. And here's our map of Pittsburgh, and now we're going to preserve the original here, and we're going to save this as um, My Exercises, Chapter 8 tutorial 8-2 and I've played with this before so there's already a copy there and I'm just going to write on top of it you won't get this message unless you're doing it for the second time as well and then then it asks us to take a look at these uh, files here and this is the shape file for drawing this map drawing all of the streets here the gray lines and what we want to do is we want to open the attribute table and take a look at it. And some of this stuff here is kind of hard to figure out. Uh, but um, this stuff from here on over is actually kind of interesting. And uh, what this stands for is left side, L is left side of the street, F is from. Left to, right from, right to. And so this tells me that on the left side of the street, the addresses uh, start at 4545. They go from 4545 to 4575. And on the right, they go from 4544 to 4574. Uh, the prefix here would be like north, south, east, or west, or something like that. Then we've got the name of the street. Then we've got the type of the street and the suffix, which sometimes the north, south, east, or west is on the end. Um, this is the zip code on the left side of the street. This is the zip code on the right side of the street. This is the speed limit and uh, length of time to travel through there. This is the complete name of the street, and then we don't really care about that one in the end. Um, so what we're going to do here is um, let's go back here, and I will um, actually I'm going to do a little sort here, and I want these in descending order. <coughs> so I want to get a long um, street segment here and I don't know if I'll find anything that's too long 
but if I click on that to select it and then just drag my map down okay there's my there's my map uh, segment right there of the street and uh, if I zoom in on that um, actually I was kinda hoping for a straight line but we'll settle for this one and so one of these ends is going to be where it starts and so you'll be going in this direction so that if we start here this will be the left side and this will be the right side and this will be from and way over here will be two and if you know that um, you know this is 500 and this is 600 and the address is 550 then you would actually go like half of the length here and you would kind of guess that it's right in here and that's the plan uh, is to take the information that's in here which will give us you know line segments and you know uh, addresses on each end of the segment and on both sides of the segment and then take the information we have from attendees here which is just uh, a pure data file um, and take this street number street name and the street suffix here and take those three things and put them together and try to find where they go on the map and uh, we only have Pittsburgh here so uh, we're only going to uh, select uh, if we do a, a sort on this. Let's do a sort descending. Pittsburgh should be near the end here. And so we got a whole bunch of stuff from Pittsburgh. It's not just Pittsburgh, but uh, a big chunk of it is. So we're going to select that data, and that's the data that we're going to map on our map of Pittsburgh here. Let's go back to the full extent of our map. And let's go to um, Pittsburgh streets here. I'm just going to turn off that. Um, selection so let's go to selections now we don't have any blue lines on there and now we're good and I'm gonna stop the video here and we will go on to part two of the video um, and we'll start on the address locator part on the bottom of page 292 and the next part of our video